EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchetur with your outlook for October 31st, 2023. Final day of the month of October. It is Halloween as well. The Tuesday video forecast is sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. With the winter season coming soon, you'll probably be spending a little more time inside at home. Why not add a little color to the inside of your home or home office or freshen up that kitchen or bathroom that gets so much use? They specialize in residential and commercial repaints, wallpaper removal, and they can apply any custom colors that your heart desires. You do want the job done right from someone who knows what they're doing and aren't going to cut corners on you. Mark Damiani Painting is family-owned and operated with over, with over 40 years in business. You can't go wrong with their excep exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Serving the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate at the number above me, 484-571-9233, and mention EPAWA to receive 15% off the total cost of any job scheduled between January and March 2024. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. Okay, a little programming note before I get going here, since I mentioned winter in the uh, in our sponsors uh, ad for today our winter programs begin november 1st they do every single year so if you had the my pocket meteorologist text alerts last year you will have them automatically renew this year on the first or the vast majority of them a few of you that signed up like later in the year that'll be on your anniversary date but the majority of you uh, we'll be renewing on November 1st for the My Pocket Meteorologist program. You don't means you don't have to go in there and manually do this all over again unless you didn't have them last year. Or if there was a problem with your payment source on file, then it won't go through, obviously. But if you did have them last year, uh, no need to re-sign up again. Everything is, uh, you just have to log in the system and uh, you can, well, you don't have to do that. It's going to automatically renew. Uh, if you have any changes to make, though, uh, reach out to us uh, or at our customer service department at uh, info at epawaweather.com and uh, we'll be able to help you with changing counties changing emails changing payment sources we can do all that kind of stuff we can help you and direct you in the right direction with that uh, also first I'm, I'm surprised i'm getting so many questions about this because i know i realize that weather weekly videos videos are popular uh but yeah, you guys should know by now it's always the first sunday in november so that means it's starting this sunday this Sunday is the weather, first Weather Weekly's video of the season that will go through every Sunday through the end of the winter season, whether that's uh, in March or April, whatever. Uh, whenever the last conceivable threat is, and I can say with confidence that we're done with any snow or ice opportunities, uh, we will be uh, continue those Weather Weekly videos every single Sunday. Now, what we do in that is we don't do winter outlooks. Getting a bunch of questions about that, and it seems like the same questions every year. Uh, and we don't do winter outlooks because I think they're a waste of time. And I'll show you why they're a waste of time. A big case in point uh, that I'm going to use in this Weather Weekly video this Sunday coming up. So look for that this Sunday. That is the first week of many Weather Weekly videos. We take a look at the long-range pattern ahead. And uh, we stick within our comfortable five to six week lead time. But we can give you some hints of what's to come. Um, maybe not a winter outlook per se, but at least where I'm leaning. Okay, we'll get to that on Sunday. So today we have a trough settling into the region. And it's going to be uh, some of the coolest temperatures we've had so far this fall. Here's the trough coming in. There's an upper level low over the Great Lakes that's going to swing through as well, which is kind of interesting because we were talking about last week uh, there's going to be an area low pressure forming off the coast. Well, that's going to be way off the coast down here. A little precipitation possible across maybe southern New Jersey, parts of Delaware as this moves out, and that will be later today. Uh, but there's going to be the upper level energy, energy swinging through, and when you have some cooler temperatures and some, um, you know, the wind's picking up a little bit, you could have possibly have some for your first snowflakes in some areas. That is not out of the realm of possibility. And here's what we have today. European model keeps this off the coast here. I'll show you the name in a second, which does not. It does bring it to at least South Jersey and parts of Delaware. Uh, the, here's the upper level energy moving through. So it's not a lot, but there could be a few flakes flying with this as we get into the overnight tonight. Here's the NAM high res future simulated radar starting this off at mid-afternoon today at 3 o'clock. And we have some showers down here across those same areas I talked about. It looks like uh, mainly coastal areas, but coastal South Jersey, Delaware. Look what's going on here in the interior. A few snowflakes as we get into this evening. This will be this evening and overnight. A few snowflakes across Northeast PA is certainly possible. Certainly possible because it's going to be cold enough to support that. Just don't expect any, any accumulations with it. These are snowflakes. 
not necessarily, you know, snow sticking. And it's just, uh, you know, a quick snow shower. So it's not like it's going to be a, a concentrated thing. But it just give you a little bit of a foretaste of the feast to come, maybe. Get you a little in a festa mood across northeast PA. Uh, this is the time of year when that starts happening, okay? Uh, if the scranton Wilkesbury area actually gets a couple inches of snow on average in November. The rest of the area, not so much. But up in these northern areas, from Williamsport over to the William. Uh, the Wilkesbury area and points in between, especially the mountains regions, you can get some minor accumulations of snow in November. Now, this would be technically November because it would be like over, you know, just past midnight when this is taking place, maybe late evening today. Uh, but it's only a few flakes and that's it. So it's not a real big deal. I just want to show you that. So you're not like, wow, I had no idea this was happening. Why is there snowflakes? And I'll just say, uh, watch my video. That's why you didn't watch my video this morning. Or tell me you, you didn't watch the video without telling me. You didn't watch the video. That's one of those deals. Okay, so the big deal here is going to be the colder temperatures, but it's not going to be like brutally cold. Uh, temperatures today are going to be either side of 50, as you can see above me, 46 to 54. And then we take a step down a little bit further, uh, mid 40s, mid to upper 40s for most. The 50 will be down here by Philadelphia, but I think most areas are going to be in the 40s for highs on Wednesday. Uh, we did set alerts. Yesterday for some frosts and freezes, uh, we will continue to do that again today uh, once this trough settles in. But I think the real cold day is going to end up being uh, late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. and have some hard freezes in that case. And here's what that, that uh, looks like across the region. A lot of upper 20s here, 27s, 28s. These are hard freeze numbers here. So the night before, not quite as cold. If I go back to uh, Wednesday morning, which would be overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, it's going to be... Uh, certainly cold. Temperatures down near freezing, so we have to send some more alerts for freezing a little uh, areas a little bit further southeast than they were before. But I think the coldest period of this stretch is actually going to be uh, Thursday, early Thursday morning, or late Wednesday night. Okay, that's when you have some hard freezes, and that will effectively end the growing season where that occurs. But we are expecting mostly sunny skies today. Uh, again, partly cloudy skies here on uh, on Wednesday. In the wake of this system, as this pulls away, again, you could have a rain or snow shower with that, but, uh, you know, not, not a real big deal otherwise. And then back to mostly sunny skies here on Thursday. Now, once we get to the end of the week, we are going to be partly cloudy, um, and the same thing looks like it's going to hold on the weekend. We are going to watch the over over the weekend period. The GFS, has, or excuse me, the European model shown here has absolutely nothing this weekend, moderating temperatures as well. So we're going to moderate into the uh, mid to upper 50s on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, it looks like it's going to be at least in the lower 60s, so not bad uh, at all. And then we just have to watch this frontal boundary moving through and the timing of such because the European model shows absolutely nothing. And GFS has something in the vicinity, but not really showing too much either. Uh, but uh, once that goes through early next week, we're back to partly cloudy skies here on Monday. Actually, the GFS does bring this through, but it's going to be later, much later. Partly cloudy skies here on Monday and cooler temperatures again heading into next week. So that's what we're looking at. For the next seven days, not a lot of precipitation or hardly any to really to speak of, except for those couple snowflakes I showed you. And then the southeastern areas uh, here today near the coastal regions could have some showers going through this evening. This will be later today in this evening. And then overnight, you could have a rain or snow shower in the interior. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Markovich. That's our outlook for October 31st, 2023. Have a great Tuesday.